everyone happy Friday this is our first art lesson this week and it's called Monet's Garden now our learning intention is to create pieces of art in the style of artists now we're going to look at different artists throughout the next few weeks to have a go at doing this and today's success criteria is that you can draw paint your own garden in the style of Monet who is our artist we're focusing on today or you can draw your own version of Monet's Garden now, I've made just a short video for you today because I know that some of you are struggling to get onto the PowerPoints. So just a wee short video just to give you a wee idea of what your task is today. So now that you have watched the YouTube video that I sent a link to before to tell you a little bit more about Monet, here is a picture of Claude Monet. Now we are going to be drawing in the style of him today. Um, we are going to be focusing on his pictures that he does of his garden. So a wee catch up, um, Monet was born in Paris on the 14th of November 1840 and he died in 1926 on the 5th of December. He has his own garden. As part of today's task, you need to have a look at your garden because that's what you're going to be drawing today, you're going to be drawing your garden. And I want you to have a look at all the different things that are blooming just now. So you might have trees that are getting their leaves back you might have fruit trees outside, you might have blossoms like these as well, you might have apple trees that are coming in. So have a good look in your garden and see if you can find anything. And if you can, you could make that a big part of your drawing today. Here we have Molly's flower and pear tree and you can see, if I zoom in a little bit here, all the different ways that he's managed to get his pear tree to look at flower in. So he's used lots of different shades of green and some white through it too. As you can see from this painting, all the colours are kind of blurring together a little bit to create the effect that he wants. Now, if you don't have paints at home to be able to do this, that's absolutely fine. You can still do it with, um, with pen or pencil and just make the colours go on top of each other to make them look kind of smudged. I'm going to show you some examples of what I've done because I don't have any paints at home so I can show you how to do it with pens and pencils as well. Here we have lots of pictures of paintings that Monet has done in his gardening journey. As our topic this time is farming, but Monet would be a good painter to look at as we will be talking about how different flowers bloom and how they give us food. Now, in his paintings, you will see that he has put lots and lots of flowers close together, and that's because he planted all his flowers really, really close together in his garden. But this gave him the beautiful colors that he could use for his paintings. And as you can see, there are lots of flowers in all of his paintings and a beautiful Japanese bridge in some of the paintings too. Now this painting here, one of his most famous paintings. Okay, and that is the one that we're going to try to do today. So here we have a closer picture of the painting that he did using the beautiful bridge that's in his garden. And all the lily pads underneath. As you can see, there's so many flowers and so much going on in here that all of his colours are blended together. But as much as they look like they're blended together, you can still make out what each bit is. For today's task, you can draw one of Monet's paintings. You can copy one of his paintings and have a go at doing it in the style of Monet. Now you can do this by using paint and using your fingers to help them smudge together. Or you can use colouring pencils, colouring pens. If you don't have any colouring pencils, colouring pens, don't worry about it you can use pencil instead. The other option for your task today is to go out into your garden and have a look at the plants that are different colors and draw a painting of them. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out into my garden, which I am right now, and I'm going to pick a piece of my garden that I think will make a good drawing. Now in my garden, I have got lots of different colours of plants. Now you can see how they are changing colour and their leaves are growing. See on the trees as well, we're getting more and more leaves in the trees. I also have some apple trees in the garden. 
and you can see that the apple trees are also coming into bloom here. Okay, you can see how they're getting all their little flowers ready for the apples coming as well. But I think today I'm going to sit on the swing and I'm going to draw this area here today. And hopefully on my painting and my drawing I'll be able to get some of these beautiful colours in. So find yourself somewhere nice to sit to be able to do your painting. So I'm going to sit here to do my painting and I'm going to make sure that I can get those nice orange colours in. You might find it easy to take a picture of it too. So that's me nearly finished my drawing now of a little bit of my garden over there. And I have used pencil and pen. So I've got pencil underneath and then pen on top. Now you can see that I've used different shades of the same colour pen to create an effect a little bit like this. Okay. See, putting the layers on top of each other. Now, if you have paints at home, then use paint and you can finger paint, dot, 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 like that. But if you don't, just use pens and you can dot the pens instead. And that should give you the effect that Monty has in his paintings. And make it look like everything's all bundled in together. Okay, and you can be an impressionist painter too. I hope you enjoyed today's art lesson. And there are other resources on Microsoft Teams too for you to have a look at if you need a wee template to try instead. So today's task, remember, is to make your draw a picture of your own garden. Okay, so pick a bit of your garden, sit outside in the beautiful sunshine today and have a draw of it. So you can draw, you can paint, you can um, use pens, however you want to do it. Just enjoy yourself. And also, if you want, you could take one of Moni's paintings and you could copy his instead. So have a fabulous day and enjoy this beautiful sunshine today.